see here sir if a b and c i find it funny by the way the teachers solve this question it is an cat previous year question cat previous year question students who are preparing for ssc and bank examination right i find it funny people waste their time listening to the teachers who solve it in a traditional method traditional method how teachers solve this method then i will tell you anil nayar's way of solving the question each and every question question traditional method as well as anil nayar's way read the question for me it's very important for me mathematics topic is a very topic which involves using my brain so i will go one by one a b and c are three natural numbers first key point is clear to me a b and c are three natural numbers okay what is the next statement given and s equivalent to a plus b plus c by 2 that means 2s is equivalent to a plus b plus c s minus a s minus b s minus c ratio is given as 1 is to 7 is to 4 1 is to 7 is to 4 that means s minus a it is k s minus b it is 7k s minus c it is 4k 4k ratio if i replace ratio if i replace now one minute sir one minute difference between difference between most of the teachers also don't know this concept difference between ratio and fraction what is the difference between ratio and fraction difference between ratio and fraction value wise both are same value wise both are same and output wise both are same value wise both are same conceptually if you understand it conceptually there is a small difference conceptually there is a small difference it's very very important for you to understand in the way the mathematics should be understood conceptually there is a small difference what is the difference now if i say fraction if i say fraction if i say 1 by 4 1 by 4 the meaning of this 1 by 4 is i am taking one part out of four parts one part out of four parts i am taking part part will get cancelled one part out of four parts there is a pizza pizza is divided into one part second part third part first part second part third part fourth part i am taking one part out of four parts one part out of four parts of the same pizza if i take one part out of four parts of the same pizza it is called fraction it is called fraction then what do you call it as ratio what do you call it as ratio people do not understand conceptually ratio and fractions there are four pizzas there are four pizzas i am taking one pizza out of four pizzas i am taking one pizza out of four pizzas here within the same value you are dividing it into parts you are taking the same pizza how many quantities you are taking four quantities i need for one pizza out of four pizzas the value it is one by four value wise both are same but what is that it is getting a difference ratio i hope it is clear ratio it is same pizzas for you kept you took one pizza out of four pizza it is ratio within the same pizza you divided it into multiple parts i want one part out of four parts that is a fraction value wise both are same but conceptually there is a small difference i hope it is clear if it is clear to you kindly reply it in the live chat with yes 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 from now onwards in case if you are teaching kids who are learning mathematics at the age of 7 or 8 
प्लीज टीच एम इन द प्रॉपर वे प्लीज टीच दम इन द वे दट दे शुड अंडरस्टैंड इट विथ कंप्लीट क्लैरिटी ई होप इट इज क्लियर डिफरेंस बिटवीन रेशो एंड फ्रैक्शन प्लीज टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रेशियो एंड फ्रैक्शन लेट अस गेट बैक टू द क्वेश्चन what all people will do sir i find a lot of teachers who teach traditional method student is listening to the live class two hours got over he learned the traditional method he is not clearing the exam why will he clear the examination when the method that he is using is incorrect your lakhs of students are going to write the examination for thousands of seats what difference that you got in terms of learning you should ask yourself traditional methods probably for set of questions it will work but if you can develop logics and minimize the time these how students will solve these equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 s minus a plus s minus b plus s minus c equivalent to 12k so 3s minus of a plus b plus c equivalent to 12k is 3s minus 2s the most boring method s is 12k if s is 12k if i substitute here 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 a will become 11k b will become 5k c will become 8k what will be the answer 11 is to 5 is to 8 yep i got the answer and you took some 30 to 35 seconds to solve this question but actually if you use your brain it is a 5 seconds question this is 99.99 percentage of the students will solve like this will solve like this because we all go through a macular education system because in our 10th class if you write one step you will get one mark if you substitute it you will get one mark if you get the answer and underline it you will get one mark maculae education system maculae education system funny education system on a mother's birthday you have to go to an archies gallery buy a greeting card where the greeting card talks about a birthday wishes wrote by an american author to his mother in a way you like that poem oh birthday is the day when you are gifted to the world and the world was gifted to you such a line nice line it is you will buy it at 70 rupees or 80 rupees or 30 rupees and give it to your mother as if you wrote it it is the worst thing that can happen in an education system education is enhancing the thought process of a learner and education is about going beyond the textbooks and making a student develop the questions on their own for me this is a stupid method if anybody is solving like this it is a time for you to introspect that these methods will not work if anil nayar is solving this question anil nayar's way when i say anil nayar's way it is the logical way to solve the question anil nayar's way anil nayar's way of solving the question what is the question s minus a is to s minus b is to s minus c is equivalent to 1 is to 7 is to 4 a is to b is to c you will understand the beauty of preparing for cat examination sir cat exam is not a difficult examination it is a different examination because if you are preparing for cat any other examination can be taken care why because cat is asia toughest examination maximum number of questions are logical questions now see a is to b is to c if i am solving this question how i will solve this question now see s minus a s minus a it is k s minus b these also you don't need to write 7k s minus c it is 4k a b c are natural numbers i do not know the traditional method what i know is see the question and find out an optimal way now see here s minus b 7k s c is constant here it is given as 2s equal to a plus b plus c which is a constant k 7k 4k what is maximum 7k it is maximum right hand side it is maximum left hand side it is minus b that means b should have a minimum value 
B should have a minimum value. S minus A is equivalent to K. They are all natural numbers. So, 17174, 248, 321, 12. Are you all with me? What is minimum? It is minimum. K is minimum. If this is minimum, what should be A? A should be a maximum value. A in A is to B is to C. In A is to B is to C. Which one should take maximum? A should take maximum. B should take minimum. Go back to the question. A should take maximum. A should take maximum. Here B is taking maximum. Here C is taking maximum. Here C is taking maximum. Exact answer options. You can go and download the previous year cat paper and see it. A is maximum. A is the maximum. How much time it takes to identify which is maximum, which is the minimum? Do you think they are checking out your mathematical skills? If they are checking out your mathematical skills, only the students who are from a great mathematical background will clear the examination in first attempt. What is that I did, sir? I did a fourth class NCRT concept. What is the fourth class NCRT concept? S minus A equivalent to K. ABC got a negative sign. If it is a negative sign, K, 7K and 4K. 7K it is maximum. B should be minimum. K is the minimum. A should be maximum. Where is the maximum value? A is present in the answer option. A is present in the answer option. For me, A is quite visible. 10 it is B value, 12 it is C value, 11 it is A value. Are you all with me? Use your mind and solve the exam aptitude, toughest aptitude examination in seconds time. That is the reason this class is a must attend class. Those of you who watch my classes, it's very difficult for you to go and watch any other teacher's classes. I teach. I teach for CAT examination. CAT is not India's toughest examination. A continent's toughest examination. Asia's toughest examination. You will also understand why I became the head of the department for entire South India at the age of 24. It's just because of the way I solve the questions. I hope the idea it is clear. Answer is 11 is to 5 is to 8. Hey Anil sir, what if A, maximum two options are there. Suppose 11 is to 8 is to 5 is there. What is the next condition that I told you? Next condition is B should be minimum. B should be minimum. B is minimum. B is not minimum. Idea is to give a direction to the way that you solve it. I hope this idea it is clear. From now onwards, whenever you are solving a ratio related questions, this is the way that I am going to solve ratio related question. Answer options are not only given to tick mark, but also to be given to be used. And you do not want any of your friends who are preparing for SSC examination, writing twice, thrice, bank examination, losing out on the examination. Just share these class link to the 10 WhatsApp group so that the students who hate formulae based learning can get a logical way of solving the question.